in my rental car right now. Getting ready to go to my sister's house and meet her there. I landed in um, Jersey, so I gotta go to New York. Um, but the intent for getting the car was because I need to be in Jersey later this week, which I'll tell you guys why later. But just wanna say with it. And um, I'm not gonna be holding my phone and driving in crazy A New York. So this is all you're gonna see of me till I make it to my sister. Celebrate Brooklyn, baby. They got live jazz in the park. Still free after 35 years. Mm. Okay guys, so this is it. This is like the moment I've waited for my entire life, at least up to this point. Um, I am at a, my, I'm still in my same company. Um, I'm currently go, going on an interview today um, to see if I can work in New Jersey. So I would be working in Jersey, which means I would either live somewhere in Jersey or live in New York somewhere and just commute but either way I'm really excited and I feel really good about it so um, I've been praying over it. I'm gonna pray one more time before I go in and if this is what God wants me to have I will have this and I will move forward in my plans to move up the East Coast baby back to where I started from so um, yeah I'm not as nervous as I thought I would be, but then again, I'm still outside. I have to meet with about six or seven people. I have to give a presentation. And, you know, when you do, essentially when you are interviewing for a job in the, like, you know, this type of job in the corporate, I guess, ladder, um, you have usually either a panel interview or a bunch of interviews with pretty much everyone you'll interact with because everyone is going to have a say in whether or not you should work with them because you will have to work with them so I like that approach I like that I get to meet everybody and have them each form their own opinion of me but I'm kind of nervous I have a frappuccino I got to Jersey about an hour early and so um, I decided to have frappuccino to kind of get me alive and going and then um, to keep me awake because I woke up at 5 30 this morning so mm. So I'm getting ready to go in, and I will see you guys later. Love you to pieces. Bye. Stuck in the airport for the next five hours. Effing pouring out here. This is some bull. Wardrobe change. Veered off my diet. Reading the secret to change my mood. Celebrating my new accomplishment. Stuck on it now. Okay, so my interview is already <laughs> recording. Yeah. Is that a good one? Okay, Desiree's no recording. Okay, ready? Jamaica, you, you, you have to all look at each other when you cheers. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> what are y'all drinking? <laughs> That's not happening. Wait a minute. I know, right? Wait, I'm gonna vomit. Okay, are you vomiting it? Wait a second, I gotta cut my camera on. Ideal. Ready? Okay, hold on. Five seconds. The hell is that? Okay. Okay. Oh God, it's burning. I'm just still sore. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna wish I was getting all this on fine. You know? <laughs> okay, really? Ready? Okay, ready? Go. Go. Mm. What in a shot. Suck it. Suck it real good. Suck it dry, girl. Suck that lemon. It's good with sugar. Suck it, girl. You suck this whole thing. Jello shot. Her jello shot. You remember how it goes? I'm headed back home today to finish cleaning. And right now, my car looks like a homeless person lives in it. It's over now. This is it. Like, I'm sitting in my empty old townhouse in Greensboro, North Carolina, and it's really surreal. Like, I never thought 
that this would happen so soon. It's completely empty. Um, it's funny, the weekend that it's happening on would be the same weekend that something major would have happened in my life. Um, it's, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm recording this video so that one day I can look back and see where it all started. Like, today's the day that it is all going to begin. Um, I look crazy. I've been moving all day. Um, I... I'm feeling a lot of different emotions. I feel happy, I feel sad, I feel excited, I feel nervous, um, scared. Uh, you know, embarking on the unknown is a scary, scary thing. Um, but I know that with my personality and with who I am, I have a go-getter mentality. I know that I'll succeed, period. I mean, New York is, like they say, the concrete jungle and it will chew you up and spit you out. But I know that that won't happen to me because I will make sure that it doesn't. I'm excited to have transferred within my company. I'm excited to have a new position up there. And I'm also excited to be able to really help my blog and my YouTube channel and stuff like that grow. I mean, New York is the perfect place to, to network and things like that. I was just looking at one of my videos today and someone wrote on there, it's crazy to me how she has such good videos with such low views. And it was very humbling, but it was eye-opening, too, because I do put a lot of effort into my videos and things like that. And, you know, to see some of the bigger gurus that just really don't have quality in their product anymore, it just puts a question mark on your face. But um, I try not to compare myself to other people because I'm not them, and it's just not my time yet. When God wants this to blow, and if God wants this to turn into something humongous, then it will. And uh, I'll just patiently wait until that time and I'll keep doing what I need to do to get there. I can't believe I'm moving out. I can't believe it's just so many emotions going through me right now. I'll miss a lot of people and I won't miss a lot of other people. Um, I think that this will be, you know, a true test to a lot of my friendships. Um, a lot of people I considered myself close to were really just one-sided friendships. The only time I saw you is if I visited you. The only time we hung out is if I initiated it. Things like that. I have one friend in particular who I haven't even seen and I'm leaving in three days for good. Um, so I already know, like, I've already known that that friendship was over, but it's definitely over for me now because this is a huge moment in my life and you've missed every single thing I've done to commemorate it and to celebrate it and to acknowledge it. So... You know, things like that are just eye-openers. And not everybody that you come into contact with is going to be your real friend. They might just be acquaintances. So just need to pick up another name and put it in that other list. Uh, because, yeah, <laughs> we are obviously not like that. Um, anyway, I don't know. I'm going to say goodbye to this place one last time. Maybe post an Instagram video of it. This is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I've been here for so long. And I'm finally leaving. And I know that if I wasn't single, I would never do this. I would never f go and chase my dreams. And the way that this whole thing just fell into place and kind of fell into my lap is insane. Um, so I just know that God is working and that this is what he wants for me. So anyway, I'm about to get all emotional. <laughs> Bye.